So I wanted to start with the idea that Australia is the sunniest country on earth. Um, fact. Fact. So we've retitled the building Catching the Sun instead of the Tower of Power. Okay. <laughs> we're going to have a chat about the Tower Yeah, I'm sure well, you didn't use that at the question time, but um, it is the first building in Australia to harness sunlight from um, its own facade system. And the importance of that is to direct on-site energy use that's been able to, is able to be used immediately. This is um, a portrait shot of its profile that faces um, a beautiful little park on Roden Street in West Melbourne. West Melbourne is on the doorstep of the CBD. It is closer to the city than Cremorne. Um, it is going through a big wave of gentrification and adaptation from a very much industrial based suburb. Um, this is our site here in the foreground. Oh gosh. Um, we love the materials of place. It's a really eclectic, beautiful place to walk around. Um, mostly brick warehouses, lots of iron um, sawtooth roofs. There's wear and tear. There's a beautiful litter of private homes, cottages um, throughout, the, throughout the location. This is our building that sits very prominent on the curve of Spencer Street, number 550. Um, it's halfway between the city and North Melbourne. We um, were briefed on a site that had um, this black hoarding on it that when we, when we were engaged. has a, a long line of um, heritage terrace homes that carry on for another 100 metres. Beautiful garden landscape verge with established eucalyptus trees and the sunlight was the immediate embrace on the, on the, on the location. From a ground floor perspective, um, we have split the corner into an active retail um, use, which we've been negotiating with council to utilise this landscape garden verge as um, something that they will upgrade with their developer contribution. Um, a small commercial tenancy on the east and then a central lobby that is off Spencer Street. We've decided to push the tower form as far away from the residential use as possible. So we have a almost a separate building that connects in behind, but looks from an aesthetic facade point of view as an independent building, as a language that associates itself both with the building, but both with the, the rhythm of a terrace house. Our um, streetscape is uh, predominantly glazed and open. We've utilised handmade bricks that were, were made in, in Melbourne um, with these punctures of glazing that have strong um, delineated glazing markations with um, steel window frames. We, uh, we shot the interior ourselves given the time frame, um, but the idea on it is that it's a very warm cocoon-like um, lobby which has a um, natural material, um, rich timber, it feels like you're walking into a house rather than commercial space. Um, our efforts sort of went through the engagement of artwork and furniture that we've designed. In terms of its commercial presence, my interest in um, commercial buildings really starts in modernist Melbourne, the first, first commercial buildings, but doing them in an exciting and new performative way. So going back to um, so the 1950s, 1970s, the beginning of commercial skyscrapers, um, curtain wall facades, both glazed and with solid panels. Our composition from an urban design perspective, just to elaborate on that, is just to push the tower mass away from the residential zones, al align that smaller building in concert with the parapets of the, the buildings adjacent, and then utilise a facade system, which I'll talk about now, to alleviate the rooftops for gardens. This is a sketch composition which talks about the verticality of the building. So the idea of a facade system comes from, um, in essence, to try and remove a fully glazed building. Um, we know that the energy requirements on these new developments are much more strict. Um, we like the idea of a building that turns its back to the south to op have the opportunity for that, um, that natural daylight that is subtle, not harsh. So the shift in a simple diamond facade language created the idea of a solid surface that would face north, um, not only to remove some um, solar heat gain to the interior, but we came up with the idea to harness the use of that panel with a solar, solar panel. So the building integrated photovoltaic 
This is a technical drawing of our facade mock-up uh, carried over sort of two and a half stories. You can see that the darker horizontal sections start to show you what the solar panels look like. And we recognise that at this point that nothing like this had ever been done in Australia. There is no product that was certified to be used. So we looked um, throughout the world. We found a couple of suppliers, one being in Germany. Um, we initiated a um, discussion with them. We found them a local distributor and we produced some mock-ups of what that could look like as a building facade. The silver horizontally laid panels are solar panels. We also then endured um, a series of tests. We recognised that this system hadn't been certified to be used as a building product in Australia. Um, so we built a four-storey mock-up of the building and set it on fire. Um, we were to manage the way that the building would perform under heat, the way that the product would work, um, particularly with some of the flammable cladding incidents that we've had here in Melbourne. So the building um, currently finished does have the design intent that we initially intended. Um, it is a beautiful hybrid of curtain wall, um, window wall system. <coughs> the benefit of using a system like this and innovating the type of idea is um, both the addition of the solar heat gain performance but the BIPV mapping um, to gain energy. The thermal comfort levels of the interior um, mean that the red being purely optimised, which means there is little to no requirement for air conditioning in the building. We do have it, it just doesn't get used. And then the interior space looking south towards the CBD, um, this is late in the afternoon when the sun is, is pushing around to the west, um, but you do have a beautiful light quality, um, high ceilings, and these are the re return faces of the, um, the solar panels which can be utilised for internal office use. There's some technical um, data which I don't have a lot of time for, but we built and invented this embedded network which enables the energy to be used instantly through all the different tenancies. So it can be um, fractioned out. On the weekends when the sunlight is hitting the building, it's pushed back into the grid and used by the local um, grid system. As well as our progressive innovation ideas, we also have a very strong insatiable search for beauty. And we think that the ability to use this product um, for a facade system gives us that ability. It can look like a singular object. Um, we love the play of matte to the texture of the, the product and shiny to the texture of the glass. It's composed formally as per some of those early modernist um, commercial towers. We have a side core that sits off to the east. And then it sits proudly amongst the, the tree lines of um, West Melbourne, which is richly um, dense full of eucalyptus and, and other local natives. The other point about the facade being the energy source is that you get the utilisation of the, the terraces, both being the roof and then the podium rooftop. The building outperforms anything um, that I've done before, mainly being carbon, carbon neutral in its operation within the 24 month payback period. I just want to finish um, with one small point is this is the first image we showed you. I want to highlight this building on the left which happens to be our neighbouring building here today. If we were to adapt the same facade system, uh, ours being over 70 tonnes of emission savings per year through the BIPV, Swanson Cent Central at a 50% coverage would have almost a thousand tonnes of emission savings per year. That equates to a thousand homes per year being energised off the grid. So we see um, our innovation is Australian first, but we've gifted the ability for anyone in the industry to be able to use it, um, which is something that I would largely lay with the client, um, being the person that able to trust us to push this idea. So just to finish, the uh, Australia is the sunniest country on earth and we have the most ability in the world to produce energy from our building itself. Thank you. Thank you.